Question 11. There are eight chocolates in a box. Three have peppermint centres, P, and five have caramel centres, C. Kim randomly chooses a chocolate from the box and eats it. Sam then randomly chooses and eats one of the remaining chocolates. A partially completed probability tree is shown. What is the probability that Kim and Sam choose chocolates with different centres? This is a multi-stage event without replacement. In the first stage, there are eight chocolates to choose from, three of which are peppermint, five of which are caramel. So the probability of choosing peppermint is three out of eight, and the probability of choosing caramel is five out of eight. In the second stage, there are seven chocolates to choose from. The probability of choosing peppermint, given peppermint was chosen first, is two out of seven. The probability of choosing caramel, given peppermint was chosen first, is five out of seven. The probability of choosing peppermint, given caramel was chosen first, is three out of seven and the probability of choosing caramel given caramel was chosen first is 4 out of 7. Now we're interested in the probability that the two chocolates chosen were of different centres and that can occur in any order. So the two outcomes that we're interested in is peppermint caramel or caramel peppermint. So the probability of peppermint then caramel is 3 out of 8 multiplied by 5 out of 7 which equals 15 out of 56 and the probability of caramel then peppermint is equal to 5 out of 8 multiplied by 3 out of 7 which equals 15 out of 56. So the probability that the two chocolates chosen were of different centres is equal to the sum of these two probabilities. So that's equal to 15 out of 56 plus 15 out of 56, which equals 30 out of 56, and that simplifies to 15 out of 28. So therefore the answer is option D.